Today we'll be replacing the coolant sensor, which is not to be confused with the temperature sensor. I'm showing you part of my 1998 Astro van. Across the lot also I have a 1997 Chevrolet Astro van. It was smashed by a hit and run driver. So I call this the Smashdro. But both the 1997 and 1998 have a Vortec engine and it's hard to see. But the coolant sensor which plugs into the computer module works with the emission system is part of the procedure for today. So let's go back to the 98 Astro. I've already done a partial disassembly. What you need to do is shut off the engine, disconnect the negative ground cable so that no one will come by and mistakenly or practical joke start the engine when you're under the hood or even blow the horn which could startle you. Alright, so upper radiator shroud is out then the fan turns there's a gap with a little larger opening than the rest of the blades I usually orient that to get my big paws through the autumn wind is a pirate robbing trees of their gold so next thing you need to do move the upper radiator hose place that aside then I reach through the gap in the fan and I loosen the clamp and then pried the water pump hose up out of the way. Just move that aside so it's not going to interfere with your procedure. Next, I disconnected the plug from the ECM and then underneath the thermostat housing itself is that rascal called the coolant temperature sensor. I already have the new one in. The old one came out with a three quarter inch half inch drive socket which I have here. A lot of my tools are craftsmen but even more of them come from Harbor Freight so there is a metric equivalent. I don't know if it's 18, 19 millimeter but you can find that by placing your new coolant sensor into a socket. You might want to use a deep socket if you have one. But in this case, a regular half inch drive, three quarter inch socket cleared. Installation is reverse of assembly. I tighten it into specification. You don't want to over tighten it. Uh, this is a brass fitting. It will expand and contract on coolant and heating cycles. And so after you have it in, you just reconnect everything in the same, however, reverse order in which they were removed. That'll snap in. It's a weather tight fitting. Then you replace the other fitting, your water pump hose, ultimately your upper radiator hose. And, of course, your radiator shroud will go back. This concludes our story of how to replace the coolant sensor on the Vortec engine or most late 1990s GM vehicles. This piece came from AutoZone. It's a Duralast SU-102. They call it a temp sensor. It's actually the coolant sensor for the ECM emissions control module. Thank you and have a great day.